Well, the fight against cancer is a big topic in Chicago this week. That's because the Clinical Oncology Conference is happening right now at McCormick Place. Dr. Philip Salem, a clinical oncologist, joins us now with uh, some new studies and some treatments. Let's start with melanoma, if we can. There's a new approach you guys are taking to treating melanoma? Yes, there is. Tell us about We're it. We're taking advantage of the specific biological characteristics in the melanoma cells and thus delivering therapy or targeting therapy towards these biological features and destroying the melanoma cancer cells while sparing the healthy cells. This approach has shown a significant uh, improvement in survival and prolonging life and much less side effects than traditional therapy. Have a lot of people um, been uh, gone through this treatment is it, or is it relatively you know still in the experimental stage? It is still in the experimental stage mm -hmm. but Let it will be I would expect that it will be approved by the FDA very soon. Mm. And also at this conference you guys are talking about new approaches to prostate and even breast cancer right? Tell sure. us about those. Well, I think one of the major concepts generated at this meeting is how to design strategies whereby anti-cancer treatment is delivered specifically and selectively to cancer cells and destroying the tumor while sparing the healthy cells and lessening the side effects significantly. One of these strategies is how to link a powerful poison to an antibody. And this antibody carries this poison to a specific cancer cell which has a specific receptor. That antibody would latch into the receptor on the surface of the cancer cell and then it takes it inside the cell hmm. where it delivers the poison within the cell and destroys the cell. Wow. This concept is a new one. Well, and if it means less side effects, that's such sure great news. Mm -hmm. Dr. Philip Salem, thank you so much. I know it was quick, but thank, thank you. you so much for sharing that information with us. Thank you very much. And don't worry, the uh, discussion continues tonight right here on CBS2. Uh, like many people, she loved tanning, but then... They literally, when they did the surgery, had to take off almost the entire top of my nose. This lady right here wants all of us to learn from her experience protecting ourselves from skin cancer. See my report tonight at 10 o'clock.